Hi friends, my name is Neil and today I want to talk about what I call as adopted child culture. Most of us are passionate about building the right culture in our organization. We spend a lot of time, effort and energy in making sure that we preserve the fundamental fabric of our company which is the organization culture. However, most of the time the leaders are highly passionate about getting the right culture and in this process they lead or they push their employees to become adopted child. The term adopted child was first used in a book called as I am okay, you are okay by Thomas Anthony Harris. He used the concept of transactional analysis extensively in this book and in that context he used various archetypes. One of the archetypes he used was what is called as an adopted child. Now if you put an adopted child on one side and you take a normal child on the other side, an adopted child usually wants to comply. The adopted child feels that he or she does not have any entitlement. So they try to adhere and they try to keep their adopted parents happy. Why? Merely because of the fear that if they don't comply, they would be sent back to the home. So in the context of our organization, this is exactly what is happening in most organizations. Whatever culture you want to drive, some organizations are systematic. They want to make sure that everything is organized. Some organizations have a, a free culture where they allow the employees to think and do whatever they want and so on and so forth. So there are different ways in which organizations approach culture. I'm not here to talk about which is right, which is wrong. Whatever you try to do, you should understand that if you push it too much, then your employees move into this mindset of an adopted child. They try to quickly comply to what you want them to do. Rather than doing that from their heart, they start imitating and they start doing it as though it is something that they have to comply to, which means you will be happy come what may, it will not change the ground reality in the organization. So I'm going to request that the first thing that you should do is to go and do a self-evaluation in your organization and find out if you really are an organization suffering from adopted child syndrome. Now when we talk about an adopted child syndrome or adopted child culture, how do I find it out? There are two simple questions that you have to ask yourself. When you look at some of the results or some of the outcomes of your business, do you find there is any correlation between the efforts that people put, the behaviors that people show and the results? If it is not, then obviously it means that there is some gap and that gap can be associated to the mindset of adopted child trying to comply so that you get a tick mark on your check sheet or the boss is happy but finally the result doesn't come out to be as you want it to be. The other way of validating whether really you are suffering from an adopted child culture is to go and talk to some of your employees and in doing so you would find that their behaviors are very different on stage and off stage. That is to say that in front of the management, in front of everyone else, they behave in a particular manner which is expected out of them. But beyond that, outside the meeting room, in their cubicles, in their desks, in the cafeteria, they may not be behaving in the same manner as they do in the meeting rooms. Now I'm not talking here about the etiquette and stuff like that, but I'm talking about culture in a larger sense. Like if you want to drive a culture of creativity, are your employee enthused to be creative in his workplace other than the meeting rooms or the brainstorming sessions? So you could go and find that out. And there is nothing like a assessment tool which is more powerful than your own introspection. And I would say that if you are suspecting that there is a problem like that in your organization, the action has to start from you if you are the leader. 
the leader of the organization is the pace setter for the entire culture of the organization and if he or she is going to you use that as a, a drum beat then that is the same drum beat which will be reflected across the organization so it's very critical that you do this evaluation and you find a way to make sure that you are not pouring money and resources into something that is not real so with that note thank you this is neil here signing off bye